Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I'm back with another reading for you. Again, I love, love, love. I really do enjoy doing these readings for you. What compliments are you getting behind your back, Scorpio? So again, from God lips to my ears, I'm bringing it to you. We don't get these compliments often and so this is why i love doing this i love to encourage you inspire you you know you're doing well you know you're doing amazing and so for a lot of you this is just confirmation as to you know how you're feeling and just the changes that you're making in your life and how you're impacting others as well so if this is your first time, I welcome you. I hope this message resonate with you. And as a result, you will subscribe and become a part of the tribe here. It would be great to have you. Thank you in advance. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you felt led to do so. Returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, family, I can't do it without you. Couldn't do it without you. And so I am... Um, extremely grateful and thankful for you please keep uh submitting your names your information so that when i do the rough like and if you know hopefully you'll win and you'll get a card so i'm doing this for each week in this month to celebrate my one year anniversary with this channel so i'm so happy to be doing life with you so let's get started so spirit what compliments the tribe getting behind your back. Wow, humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So a lot of you, I mean, you are the life of the party. That's the compliment that you get. And some of you, you do have like a dry sense of humor where you just speak things and it, it's just funny. People will be cracking up and you're still serious. It's your humor. And a lot of you, you're just choosing to focus on the lighter side of life. As it says, you're not taking things so seriously. Maybe not anymore. You know, you're just, you're letting go and you're letting God. So you're, you're happy. And I'm sure a lot of you, you're feeling good because you're coming up close to your season as well. And with, with time and life teach us a lot of lessons and so you're really just like i said letting go letting god you know the party doesn't start until you show up you are the life of the party you are the party i love that for you yeah it's your balance your state of perfect harmony in this world so it's how you're showing up again you're emotionally stable it doesn't matter who you were, what you were doing in your past, but I see a lot of maturity here or maturing in, in the tribe here, in the collective where your balance in your emotions, you're stable. This reminds me of like the king or the queen of cups, you know, where you are not, people can't just easily push your button anymore to get you thrown off. It's like you're now so used to the the plans of the enemies. It's like a lot of you, it's like you're laughing at people when they're trying to get you upset because you just, like you have been through so much, you just know what is coming next. And so you're so very lighthearted. Yes, you're peace. You're a being of love and you release negative energy. So a lot of you, the compliments that you're getting behind your back, it's your peace. Is that how calm you are, how peaceful you are. You're not allowing the things around you to ruffle your feathers anymore. And like I said, I see maturity here, emotional stability as well. You're very calm maybe it's scary for a lot of people scorpio you're here to come they're not used to it but like like i said it's a lot of maturing you mature a lot change yes you change i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so even though yes you are a fixed sign but change 
you are willing to do whatever it takes if it means that it is for your own good your family if it's going to make a difference in your life so a lot of people the compliments that you're getting are compliment is that you know you're changed you're different you're not the same people can't recognize you like i said your balance you know the people you choose to share your happiness with they're complimenting you on your sense of humor and how peaceful you are your vibe you know just this calmness about you and maybe for those people who remember you from your past they actually see that you you're changed you know you you have you're not the same in however way you've changed form shape you know but but you're changed you're not the same you're unrecognizable to a lot of people at this time wow courage yes i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence so a lot of you the compliment or compliments you're getting is that you're courageous you are brave your inner strength you are not afraid to stand up for what you believe in for a worthy cause you are the person who will see somebody who is being abused or taken advantage of or disadvantaged you will step in to defend the less fortunate you will be the voice for a lot of people to speak up for a lot of you like i said you have been through so many things that is like nothing really nothing bothers you anymore but you know your your heart you're so compassionate and you're very em empathetic as well so as a result you don't like to see you know people take you know especially the less fortunate they're abused in any way shape or form and so you will step up so a lot of people they're complimenting you on your courage to find the inner strength to face your fear with confidence whatever it is you're going through you know life may be kicking your butt in certain area and you have people who are watching you and so they're complimenting you on how brave you are on your bravery awesome and this card keeps showing up it says indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of life so yes a lot of you it's your intuition maybe in the past you were indecisive because you didn't trust your intuition and so as a result a lot of you you are more tapped in now you're going with your intuition your gut feeling what is it telling you about certain people places and things and this is why too when conflict and drama is brought into your life a lot of you you see the balance there and the peace is like now you can smell you know what people what they're coming with from a mile away and that's because you are experienced you are seasoned so people can't throw you off you know they try to throw you off kilter get you out of character it's like you're singing no weapon <laughs> formed against me shall prosper no it won't work so yes that's you no weapon form against is like you're not falling for the antics uh before in the past maybe it worked but not now you're you know better you're wiser now you're stronger lessons i've taught you 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 change you're not the same gratitude you're thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents a lot of you are in the attitude of gratitude as well that's the compliment that are one of the compliments that you receive is that you're very gracious you're very kind maybe when people do things for you you say thank you as well and you thank the divine as well for the changes the blessings whatever it is in your life you're very great grateful and gracious as well yeah and trust trust 
you accept that your inner voice will always guide you correctly. So again, go, going back to the intuition. So a lot of you, you learn to trust yourself now. And you realize that, you know, you need to do that for, for your own peace of mind, for your own sanity. Maybe in the past, you never used to trust your in the inner voice, which is the divine speaking. You get that nudge, that feeling, don't do this, go that way, move this way. And as you develop that like a muscle, you're realizing, yes, every time I get that nudge, that feeling, it never, it is never wrong. And so you learn to trust yourself. You learn to trust the divine. And so that weed out a lot of the indecision in your life as well. When it comes to people, places, and things, who you should trust, who you should work with, who you should do life with, you know, you're not just um, leaving up your will, your life, your destiny to people anymore, to, you know, just to, to walk all over you to give you their advice. Yes, you will you will listen, but at the end of the day, you're gonna go based on your intuition. This is the compliment that you're getting behind your back. And behind that, we have patience. You accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah, I told you, it's like you're letting go and you're letting God. You're letting go and you're letting God. You're not allowing uh, life to throw you off balance is like the stress it's not worth it you know that's what you're saying you realize now that when you have done things in the past you run out and you did things it didn't work out the way you wanted to whether this is love career you know just life business whatever and so now you're learning to trust the divine that's one of the compliment you're receiving and it wouldn't be a good reading without the envy card. So envy is saying, I am the same as everybody, but with, but with different challenges. So again, a lot of these people who are complimenting you, they're looking at you with evil eyes. A lot of these people are jealous, envious. You know, they think that what you have, they should get it. And again, I see here, even though these people realize you work on yourself because you've changed, you're not the same, but yet still, they are thinking that what you have, they should have it. And we know that it won't work. It won't work, Scorpio. It won't work. So we're not even going to stress that. But, you know, this may be just a little warning there to let you know that, you know, some people are pressed because of the changes you have made, the growth that you have in your life and it's showing again you're not showing off because it says that you are the same as everybody so a lot of you you're humble in a good sense not that you're a doormat but you're not a show off but you know like i've always said you can't stop a star from shining so it doesn't matter how humble you are people can smell it they can see it on you that your change, you're not, you're not, it's like you're not one of us. You stand out. And as a result of that, even if you tell people about all the ups and downs and trials that you've gone through in life, a lot of them, they still would think that you don't deserve what you're getting or what you should have. They should have it. So it's like it doesn't even make any sense. So this is just a sideline, sidebar, so you know what's happening out there. So compliments you're getting, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So a lot of you, you're not judgmental. So you, you look at everybody as VIP. Everybody is important in your eyes. And so you're not judging people. You just commit to loving people. You know that God is love. And like the verse says, he that love it not, know it not God, because God is love. So a lot of you, you're just oozing with love, compassionate. It is showing in the way you do life, your family, your career, your job. 
you're spreading love, you know, with your smile, with jokes. You're letting people feel comfortable. Your love, your love, Scorpio. And we have here relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So the compliments you're getting, you know, people are admiring. Again, those relationships that you still have, the connections that you still hold on to romantic or platonic or, you know, career. It's the partnerships that you have. And so for a lot of you, the compliments that you're getting is that you're pouring into people who are pouring back into you now. You're not in any one-sided connection. You're more, you know, dealing with people, six of pentacles, equal give and take. That's balance. People who pour into you, that's what you're pouring into. And your vibe attracts your tribe. So you're pouring into people who serve your higher good. People who are going to build you up, edify you, encourage you, not tear you down, not give you all of these negative criticism. They never have anything to say that is good. And they try to pick you apart to lower your self-esteem and your self-confidence. You are done with that. You are done with that. And when I look at this, you know, it's like, look how royal, how regal this looks. You know, it's like, yeah. The people who, this is like your tribe, you know, like the thread sewn to the core, you know, of the fabric. It's like it is guarded, it is protected, it's delicate, the relationships that you have. Yeah, that's good. Health. So you honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. So for a lot of you, the compliments you're getting, your health. You're taking better care of yourself. You're looking good. You're feeling good. Again, you're pouring into you and you have people who are doing the same for you. And freedom. You possess the power, the power and the free will to create your own happiness. Yeah. So people, the compliments or one of the compliments you're getting is that now you're freer. Not only, not only are you changed, but you are free. You know, it's like you're so whimsical. You're going with the flow. Again, you're letting go. You're letting God. You, you don't look, you're like, you know, going on that fool's journey. You're packing lightly. No more baggages. It's like you release people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And that is one of the compliments that you're getting at this time as well. Oh, uh, garden something something lovely will come from this yes so for a lot of you as well you know it's like when life hands you lemon you use it to make lemonade so a lot of you you're looking at the things that happen to you and people are complimenting you on this as well it's like for a lot of you you did not have a fear shake in life for whatever reason or reasons you know, a lot of things worked against you, but it looked like it was working against you, but you actually were able to transmute that, alchemize that, and have it work together for your good, because it says something lovely will come out of this. So for a lot of you, it's your perspective. You're choosing to look on the lighter, the brighter side of life. You're not taking things seriously. It's like you're saying, you know, you're you're letting go you're letting god and you're saying something good must come out of this situation whatever this is you know this is this is this lesson it is meant for something the people the the places whatever experiences that you've had in life it it came in you you're saying there must be something that is happening for your good here Oh, I don't know. I can't show this word. But if you switch this letter out, you know, like witch, you know how to spell witch, right? So if you take out the W and you switch it with B, that's what it's saying. So I'm going to say witch fire, but you know what I'm talking about. So witch fire, it says stand up for yourself. Again, I was talking about that with the courage card. I don't know. I don't want to show that. 
we're talking about that with the courage card and uh, stand up for yourself so a lot of you you're courageous you know i'm hearing one man against the world so yes a lot of you you're not afraid to stand up for yourself you're not afraid to defend your cause you're not afraid to defend, to speak up. So this is this is what, you know, the compliment or one of the compliments. You're standing up for yourself. Maybe in the past, you never used to do this. You used to internalize a lot of things. And you wouldn't answer people. You wouldn't speak up for your right in the workplace. Whether this is for a raise or whatever. And now it's like you're speaking up. It's like I have, you know, I don't know, however much lifetime, but for now you're here. And it's like you're done being a doormat for a lot of people. Yeah, son. Whew. Compliments you're getting. 11, you may be seeing this sign, this number too. Paint the sun back into your sky. Absolutely. So the compliments you're getting are one of the compliments is that now you're pouring back into yourself. You know you're worth it. And now you're choosing to focus on yourself. And people may say you're selfish because now, because you're focusing on your peace, your balance, you know, you're just working on yourself and you're glowing, you're radiating, it is showing. And so people may think that you're selfish because you have boundaries, because now you're, it's like you may be staying home you know but you're taking care of yourself you don't need to be around a lot of people to be happy it's like now you're working on yourself you're getting back to the basic and join the things that you used to love and and so people are complimenting on you know how you're you're pouring back into yourself you're glowing you're radiating since you cut off some people places or things Wow, this says evil queen, but here it says you deserve sugar, not salt. So a lot of you, yes, you've gone through a lot of bad treatment here, my friends. And the compliments are one of the compliments you're getting. People are applauding you that you deserve sugar, not salt. You may have had some evil people in your life who tried to throw shade on you, who wanted you to feel bad, who you have some people who are salty, bitter in your life, but people know that the person that you are and they're saying you deserve sugar, not salt. And as a result, this is why a lot of you, again, you've taken your power back. You know your worth, you love yourself, you're embracing yourself and you're just doing you and so yes you deserve sugar my friends not salt and some of you this is what you're realizing too those people in the past they were actually salt they were very salty we saw the envious card here the envy card so you know now who you deserve again equal give and take the relationships who are there to serve your higher good awesome uh cray Gray. It says endings are inevitable. Yeah. So a lot of you, the compliments that you're getting, you know, over this relationship card is that you put an end. Seven plus three is ten. So endings bring new beginnings. So you are not afraid to put an end to relationships or partnership. You are not codependent either. So a lot of you, you're coming to realize that endings are inevitable. It's like you're realizing that some people are in your life for a reason, some for a season. You know, so you're not getting too attached to certain people. You're just going with the flow. You're enjoying people as they come. And so as a result, now you know your worth again. People can't manipulate you anymore. You're not attached. You're not in any toxic relationship or partnership. Yes, expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Absolutely. Yes. No, you're not. The compliment that you're getting is that you're not about anybody's approval. You don't need to be validated by anybody. 
You put your clothes on and if you think you're beautiful, you are beautiful. You're trusting your gut, right? You're, you're, not in the, in, you're not in that place of indecision anymore. So you are trusting yourself. You're not seeking anyone's approval, you know, over the health card. So you're taking care of yourself. You don't need people's opinion as to what you should do. You're doing what you know is best for you at this time. Yeah. So a lot of you, the clover, so you release your guilt. Yeah. A lot of you, yeah, you let go on, uh, on the freedom card here. So the, the, the clover is over the freedom card. So you release, you forgive people, places, and things who came against you. And again, it's right under the evil queen. So again, a lot of these people who were evilous and malicious in your life, you release those people. And so as a result, no, you're pouring into yourself. As I said before, you know your worth. You're more balanced. No, you are enjoying your own company and like the card says you're painting back the sun into your own sky you stop pouring into people's bottomless cup people who were draining you energy vampires they were only happy when you were able to give to them but you know as when if you didn't then you you saw the other side of them are just people who were takers you're pouring into yourself you're giving back to yourself. And when you look at all of these lessons back to the garden, it's like something good must come out of this. Your mess is going to be your message, your test, your testimony. So this is why everything that you've gone through, now you're so patient, you're balanced. You know, you're not allowing anybody to throw you off because you know who you are. You learned a lot. You've been through a lot. And the card at the back here is mourning. The world awaits you. Yeah. So a lot of you, you're just optimistic. You're very positive. You're speaking positively to yourself as well. Affirmations. So people are realizing that, again, you change. That is like the main thing here. Change. You change up the way you used to live the people you used to hang out with, the places that you used to go. You're pouring into yourself. You're wiser. You're definitely wiser. You're not codependent. You're not toxic. You don't need to be validated or need anybody's approval. You're living your world. You're speaking up for yourself. You're learning to defend yourself. If you think you'd need that raise, if somebody's stepping on your toe, you're going to let them know, hey, you're hurting me. And you're not going to feel guilty by you thinking you sacrifice yourself so that other people can be happy. No, you're being respectful, but you're letting people know when they hurt you, when you're not happy, when you're not satisfied. I love that for you. I love this for us. And for a lot of you, wow, wow, stars stars you can manifest your every wish yes yeah, so for a lot of you you know people are also complimenting you again five is a card of change how you are able to speak things into being you're hopeful you're healed as well and it's like people are just drawn to you because if you see this card, it's like she's speaking certain things and this other one, little girl over here, you know, she's like just drawn to her like, wow, wow, you're able to think that you, the, your dream, your dream big. For a lot of you, you're also seen, you're a star. So people are able to see you, hear you, you know, on your platform on your channels as well. So for a lot of you, you're stars in your own right. And I think I said it earlier, you can't stop a star from shining. So this this is why, you know, a lot of you people, they see you have favor because you're able to manifest, you're able to co-create with the divine. And we saw that gratitude card. And for a lot of you, you know that in order to be in this space, you must have a heart of gratitude as well. I love this for you. I love this for us. 
please remember to like share subscribe leave a comment if you have not yet done so until next time continue to be blessed